Man, don't put it in your mind to think that I come to destroy the laws or the prophets. Read. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. See that he said? I am not come. Read that again. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill, okay? The Christ did not come to change your laws. Read on down. Verse 18. Uh -huh. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Is the heaven still above? Uh, is the earth still here? Read again. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass. All right. One jot uh -huh. or one tittle right. shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Yeah, that. So Christ did not come to do away with any law. Okay? Christ only come to fulfill. Give me the book of Acts. Uh, give me the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 18. Acts 3, verse 18. Let's see what he comes to fulfill. You got it? Acts chapter 3, verse 18. Read. But those things which God before had shown by mouth, the mouth of all his prophets. Read. That Christ should suffer, he had so fulfilled. Yeah, that Christ had to suffer. I mean what? Put on the cross. That's what, that's what he came to fulfill, okay? That's what Christ came to fulfill. He did not come to do away with the law. Strike! It is madness. Give me Romans 7 and 7. Romans 7 and 7. The book of Romans, chapter 7. In verse 7, read. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is the law sin? Right. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Now this is Paul speaking. Read. God forbid. Means no. Read. Nay, I have not known sin but by the law. See yeah, that? I have not known sin but by the law. What? By going back in the scriptures and reading, okay? Remember Christ said, think not that I have come to destroy the laws or the prophets. So the laws are not done away with that. Read That's that. right. For I have not known lust. Except the Lord said, Thou shalt not covet. Right, so how are you supposed to know if you're in the midst of uh, uh, sin if you don't go and uh, find out for yourself what is the law? What is breaking the commandments? Is? You understand? What is breaking the laws? Uh, give me the book of uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Romans chapter 3, and verse 31. Read. Do we then make void the law through faith? Stop, because a lot of people say that, oh, see, Christ came with grace. So we don't, uh, we don't have to keep the laws anymore. Okay? Read that again. Do we then make void the law through faith? Paul is saying, do we now make void the law? Do we now push the laws aside because of faith, grace, and Christ? Read. God forbid. Means no. Read. Yay! We establish the law. Means we do the law. Okay? So the laws are not done away with. And the people are reading out the New Testament. Okay? Right. We are reading out of the New Testament. That's right. Christ did not come to destroy the laws. Give me the book of John 1 17. John chapter 1 and verse 17. Read. For the law was given by Moses. Yeah, that for the laws were given by Moses. Read. But grace and truth came by Jesus the Christ. Now, a lot of Christians like to pull this. But grace and truth be under grace. Sorry, we'll be under grace. Okay, but Christ said he came with what? For the law was given by Moses. Read. But grace, but grace as truth. Grace means mercy and what? As truth. Well, what is truth? You understand? Because Christians love to leave this part out. They don't go be under grace all day and break the, God, break the laws of God. But they don't talk about this truth. Let's find out what is truth. Psalms 119, 142. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh huh. And thy law is the truth. And thy law is the truth. And thy law is the truth. So let's go back to the book of uh, John 1.17. So we know so we know now what is uh, uh, the truth. The laws of God. Read. John chapter 1 verse 17. Read. For the law was given by Moses. For the law was given by Moses. Okay. Read. But grace. What grace means mercy and truth and truth means the law came by Jesus Christ. Yeah, that came by Jesus Christ. So the laws are not done away with brothers and sisters. Uh, give me the book of First Timothy, chapter one. Uh, let's start uh, chapter one, verse six. Let's start at uh, sorry, First Timothy one, and let's start at verse seven. First Timothy, chapter one, and verse seven. Read. Desiring to be teachers of the law. Go ahead. Understanding neither what they say. Uh-huh. Nor whereof they affirm. Go ahead. But we know that the law is good. 
Yeah, that, but we know that the law is good. Read. If a man uses it lawfully. If a man loses it right, because as long as you're keeping the laws, you're not in the midst of sin. That's right. That last precept again. If a man uses it lawfully. If a man uses it lawfully, not breaking the commandments. Read on. Verse 9. Knowing this, that knowing the law is not made for a righteous man. Right. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Why? Because the righteous man is keeping the laws. He's not breaking the laws. Read. But for the lawless. Uh oh But for the who? The lawless. But for the lawless. Read. And disobedient. And disobedient. Go ahead. For the ungodly. For the ungodly. Mean wicked men. Read. And for sinners. And for sinners. Read on. And for sinners, for unholy and profane. Okay. You see that? So the laws are not done away with. The laws are still here in this book. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor idolaters, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, Go ahead. nor covetous, uh -huh. nor drunkards, Go ahead. nor revilers, uh -huh. nor extortioners. Alright, read it up again from the uh, uh, from verse eight. Verse eight. Uh, verse nine. Verse nine. Verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Yeah, that know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Letting you know that what? If you think that you and this church jumping up and down talking about you love the Lord, and what happened? You're not keeping the commandments that you're going to receive the kingdom? You got to be out of your mind. Read that again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Do not be uh, seduced. Do not be tricked. Do not be fooled. Read. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers. Read. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. Read. Nor abusers of themselves with bad kind. Going into homosexuality. Okay. These brothers will not receive the kingdom of God. Read on. Nor thieves. Go ahead. No covetous! Now hold on, I thought that the laws were done away with. Here we read what we are not what we, what we what we are not supposed to do. Right. Okay? That's right! These are laws that we are not supposed to break. Okay? We are not supposed to do these. Read. No drunkards! No drunkards may be overdulging themselves with wine or rum. Okay? Read. No revilers! No revilers. Nor extortioners. No extortioners. Because you know we have a bunch of wicked brothers out here today who love to extort one another. Okay? All of these brothers who does brothers and sisters that does these stuff will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. Read. Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Give me Romans chapter 1. Let's start at verse 26. Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. Uh, 20, 26, 26, 26. For this cause, uh -huh. God gave them up unto vile affection. Right. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Read that again. For this cause. For this cause, for them being wicked and rebellious. Read. God gave them up. To vile affections. God give them up to vile. You know what is a vile affection? A vile affection is a man in love with another man. That's right. Not in love with a little child. Okay? A woman in love with a woman. That is a vile affection. A man in love with a dog on beast. That is a vile affection. Read. For even their women that change the natural use into that which is against nature. Right, because look at our women today. They are a bunch of lesbians. Okay? They are lesbians. Okay? Read. Verse 27. And likewise also the men. Yeah, that, read that again. And likewise also the men. And likewise also the men. We have a bunch of brothers who are in the midst of homosexuality. Okay? They will not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't let these shit fool you. That's right. Okay? But God hates the sin. Uh, 
God uh, hates a sinner but loves the sin. It's madness. Right. Okay, read that again. And likewise, also the men. Uh huh. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Leaving the natural use of the woman because a man is for a woman. Not a man for a man. Burn in their lust. Yeah, what was Burn in their lust. Man, uh, man, uh, man with man. Burn in their lust. Read. Working that which is unseemly. Working that which is unseemly. Okay? Because we're not supposed to be doing that foolishness. The goddamn Africans used to do that madness. That's why the Most High told us to leave. Leave and put off those madness that the Africans were doing. Okay? Read. Burn in their lust one toward another. Go ahead. Man with men working that which is unseemly. Man with men working that which is unseemly. Go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. You see that? So brothers and sisters, we have to understand that the laws are not done away with. Right. The laws are still here. Give me the book of uh, Revelation. Uh, Revelation 22 verse uh, 14. Let's read 14 and 15. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments. What? Blessed are they that do his commandments. I thought the commandments and the laws was done away with. Read that again. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Read on. That they might have right to the tree of life. The only way you're going to be able to receive the kingdom of right to the tree of life, everlasting life through Christ, is what? Keeping the commandments. Read That's on. Right. And may enter in through the gates of the city. May into the gates of the new Jerusalem. Read. For without our dogs. For without our dogs. Talking about the other nation. Like when Christ called a woman a dog in the book of Matthew 15. Okay, read on. And sorcerers. And sorcerers. Those who would like to witchcraft. Read. And whoremongers. And whoremongers. Brothers who love women. Okay. They need to have three and four women at one time. Read. And murderers. And murderers. Brothers who have hatred. In the heart towards the other brothers and sisters who like to put them to death. Read. And idolaters. And idolaters. Verse the oh, sorry. And idolaters. This, like, this is idolatry. This is not Jesus the Christ. This is idolatry of your this man is called Jesus. Read on. Uh-huh.